microphone checker micro micro microphone checker what is up you guys what is up this is chris with patch boy dark patches for that culture right now we're just working on some etsy orders getting the etsy orders ready look at i got dust all on my lens cap i got to take better care of my equipment let me get some headphones on so i can make sure my audio is good how's everybody doing out there how's everybody doing y'all doing all right i'm doing all right minus some car troubles but i'm doing all right i gotta get my catalytic converter replaced uh oh my bobbin might have just ran out over here i'm about to go ahead and change the bobbin on this machine right here on that that brother persona so let me go ahead and get this bobbin changed up and we will get right back to this footage I also got the Brother SE625s going. Each machine is working right now. I got a couple Etsy orders to get ready. I'm doing that Malcolm X. I got the damn! And I'm doing my James Baldwin right here. And then the first machine to get finished, I got to transition over to doing the Kevin Samuels Memorial Patch. Behind the scenes, well not even behind the scenes, we're just working on Etsy orders. So I'm gonna change these two colors because they are ready to change. I'm my brother SE625, so I'm gonna change these ones out to the proper colors that they need. And then I'm gonna go over here and change the bobbin on the persona. How's everybody's weeks going? You got hope you guys are having a great week, an awesome week. Hope you guys are being creative, letting your creative juices flow. Let me go ahead and get you guys set up at a different angle so you can see what's happening up over here. Cause I got the machines going. Just change those color threads. Yeah. Let's get you set up. All right, all right. Ah, let me check this. Oh no. So there's a good amount of bobbin on here still. You guys can see that right there. See in there. So there's still tons of bobbin on there. So it was the upper thread. Make sure you guys can hear me good. Hear my nice handsome voice. All right, all right. Hmm. Everything else looks right. Let me go back some stitches and see. Make sure it's still, might have just been a little mishap. Let me see. Hmm. Well, yeah, everything's working fine. I don't know why I had a check up a thread message, but hey, it's still going. I gotta change the color on the Malcolm X design. Come take a look. I will be changing it to the brown. So let me get this white off of there. I'm actually gonna go in there and cut those jump threads too. I don't want those jump threads in there right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those jump threads and then change to the brown. My small brown spool is being occupied already, so I will have to use my big spool. Before I do that, let me come in here with my handy dandy scissors right here little snips. Let me go in here and snip this. My Friday pass just got done with uh, the brown color, so I'm going to just use that brown now. This is just a little day in the life of making patches, you guys. This is how it goes. Yeah, so I'm using this big spool right here. You guys can see. This big spool of brown thread. I'm going to go ahead and get this threaded up on the machine. Excuse my arm reaching in. Da -da 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 if you guys haven't done so already, be sure to head over to our Patch Boy Dark Etsy shop where we just uploaded a new two new embroidery files. We got the Martin embroidery file where he gets beat up by Tommy Hearns. And we also got a new coming to America design. All right, I got a small little spool right here. Some black Madeira. I like using that Madeira thread. Let me get this threaded up. Like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the color on this James Baldwin. I need to change it to white. It's loaded up with brown right now. And then after the white, I gotta do some black thread. I'm gonna come up here and just snip that. And let me get my spools loaded up. I don't even have the spools loaded up yet. And now let's go in and put on the white thread. Bam, got some white right there. Put 
that right there. I'm gonna get the black thread. I got the big spool. Put that right there. Load up this white thread. And then I'm gonna prep the black thread. And we just gonna keep going, keep flowing, keep sewing. So I need to go ahead and get my thread. My brown thread almost fell through. I'm going to pull that brown thread all the way through until the white thread comes through. There it is. Cut that excess. Now I need to tuck my thread behind the little tab of that this little thread holder right there. There we go. Now let's go ahead and put the threader down. Automatic threader. There we go. I'm going to lock it and let's start it. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And we just still stitching. As you can see, there's the James Baldwin in progress. After the James Baldwin is done, I got to change it over and do the Kevin Samuels patch. Like I said before, over here, we got the Malcolm X going. Stitching out nicely. And up here, we got the Friday patch, the damn patch on this SC625. With this SC625 that I have up top, I uh, went in and did some oiling to the actual embroidery unit itself. So this unit, uh, dust and stuff can collect inside of there. Uh, it could get like inside of these like crevices and stuff on the embroidery unit. So I actually went in there and did some disassembling. If you guys want me to show you how to disassemble this embroidery unit, just the uh, embroidery unit part itself, not the entire machine, but just the uh, moving uh, part of it. Well, not the moving part, but just that embroidery unit. Let me know down in the comments and I will try to put, a, put together a video to show you guys how to disassemble that unit and where you should apply some oil and just give it some general cleaning. So my Malcolm X one is done, that color's done. The Friday one is done. Even the James Baldwin one is done, you guys. So I gotta change all these color threads. I'm gonna go ahead and start up here with the damn patch. I gotta change it to pink. Well, not the pink, I gotta change it to this peachy color. You guys wanna see it right here. Here's the color I'm gonna be changing it to. It's like this little peachy color. And this is the Madeira 1254, if any of you guys are wondering. So let me do this one. This one will uh, finish up pretty quickly. Uh, but while it's stitching out, I'm going to change the thread on the other SE625 below. And go. All right, all right, let me change this one. So that peachy one is already done before I even had the chance to change this one. I was too busy fumbling around with this camera trying to get a good angle. But let me go ahead and grab this dark brown for the hair highlight of this patch. This one will be done very quickly too, just like the one up above. Mm -hmm. Yes, go. Let's come back up here. Come back up top. Da -da -da. My next color is this royal blue color. This is the Madeira 1133. I need to come over here and change my persona. So I already, so already snipped the white. Let me go ahead and load up the black. And this will be the final color for this James Baldwin patch. And I need to go back and change the Malcolm X one. I'm done with this white. I can put this white away. This is the Madeira. What is this? The Madeira 1001. You guys can see it right here. Let me zoom in so you guys can actually see that number yeah that's the one right there mm -hmm. yeah, yeah so i'm taking the white thread pulling the white thread through until the black thread appears there it is all right get all this excess out of here let me just put it to the side for now, toss it away later. Let me put down my automatic threader button. Oh. 
Good, good, good. Let's lock it and let's start it. Yeah, so that's the last color on this one. So let me just, I'm gonna just let it do its thing. Let's come over here to the Malcolm X one. Working on some orders. Just working on some orders. Get some black thread. Check it out, you guys. I went and picked up um, from Walmart for $21. I picked up this black Dickies uh, long sleeve button up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this into a personalized work shirt. Just how I have my uh, Patch Boy Darb hoodie. I'm gonna do the same thing to this guy. I'm gonna put uh, the Patch Boy Darb logo right on that front left chest. I'm gonna put uh, the big logo right on the back. And uh, my little D logo, I might put on the sleeve. So definitely tune in for when I upload that video. I will document that process so you guys can all see how I go about embroidering directly onto one of these Dickies long sleeve button ups. So be sure to be on the lookout for that video. So I'm over here at the SE 625s. I gotta change these color threads. All right, so I'm changing the Malcolm X design thread. I'm switching from black to a silver color. I'm using the Sulky uh, 1011. So anyway, you know, I want to know what uh, light silver color that I'm using is the Sulky 1011. And then for the upper machine, the dam design, I'm going to be switching that. Oh, let me see. I'm gonna be switching that to yellow. I got this big spool of yellow. This is the Madeira uh, 1124. As I mentioned earlier before, we do got some new embroidery files on the Etsy shop. We got two new designs. We got the Martin design where he's all beat up from Tommy Hearns, that episode. We also got a new Coming to America design that's only just the file. So if you want to pick those files up and add it to your collection, click the link down in the description box and go ahead and purchase yourself some new embroidery files. And also check out the other files that we have available. This one's coming along nicely. They're all coming along nicely, actually, so, yeah. So my Rode microphones just died, so you guys will be hearing audio directly from the camera. Hopefully it's not too bad, but we're gonna keep this video going. We're gonna keep on working on these Etsy orders and eventually drop them off at the post office, maybe. I've been dropping them off at my local box here, but I might actually hop on the Honda Ruckus and go ahead and drop them off at the post office. We'll see. Never know. So the James Baldwin patch is about to do the final stitches, which is the satin stitch border. Always make sure you guys give your patches those satin stitch borders, give them the nice clean edges, and just make your patches look professional. So I got my, I got the spool up here. This spool is for all my smaller threads. Uh, I gotta fill up some of that space. But then I got these bins right here. I got these bins from Joann's. They're relatively cheap, and they came in like a multi-pack. And so up here, on this side right here, I got my extra embroidery threads here. Uh, then I got some smaller embroidery threads right here in that little bin. And then in this final bin, these are all the threads that we use for the uh, for the sewing machine. So all, so all up here are my smaller spools and my uh, spools for the sewing machine. And then down here, I got my bigger spools. Yeah, look at all those thread colors. It's not a bunch of thread colors, but it's a good amount. 
way in the back. I keep my uh, bobbin thread right there. Uh, let me see if I can focus. Come on, focus. So there's my bobbin thread right there. This is, let me show you guys what this one is. So this is the bobbin thread that I use right here. There you go, so you guys wanna see the numbers. If you guys have not checked out All Stitch yet, be sure to go to allstitch.com where they got tons of embroidery thread options. They got embroidery backing, whatever backing you need. They even got other accessories. They even got like some mighty hoops and stuff, I think. Uh, they got some scissors. So whatever you need to get your embroidery business to the next level or you need just some supplies and tools, definitely check out All Stitch. One of the SD625 just finished up also. Damn, there we go. Malcolm X design right there. And then over here on the persona, we got the James Baldwin. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up these last two patches. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you ain't subscribed already. Be sure to click the link in the description box below. That will take you to our Etsy shop where you can purchase yourself some patches or you can purchase yourself some embroidery files. We all know some of you guys need some embroidery files out there. This has been Chris with Patch Boy Dark. See you on the next one. Peace.